Hey, ready fish. It's the 15th of October, 2018, and it's fall. The cold weather is coming, so keeps us pretty busy around here preparing for that. Uh, but I've been looking in on stuff and seeing all kinds of things. But this really kind of got my goat this morning when I saw this. Okay, this is from yesterday. Uh, it's an article from CBS Sunday Morning, The Flat Earth Movement, A Society of Disbelievers in Scientific Fact. Okay, so they just basically go through this article, and in a very sly, cunning way, they ridicule, and they misquote, and they take out of context all the usual stuff, right? They do, they do this entire write-up, more or less just to call these people a bunch of fools and get the sheep to look and point and laugh at people who basically tell you where you live, which is on a flat, stationary plane with a cover, a firmament over it. That's where you live. And the reason I'm even making this video is because the other day I did a little short video. Um, a lot of you don't know I have another channel here. Um, and sometimes I'll throw up little short videos because I see something and I just want to, you know, kind of get it out. And so I'll put a little blurp, two, three, four minute videos up on this channel uh, just because, you know. But I did that the other day, here on the 10th, referring to this article here that came out on the 8th. Okay, and it's from, it's literally from NASA, from the International Space Station. And this astronaut doesn't know any words in any language to match the beauty of an orbital sunrise. Okay, stunning space station shots revealed. Okay, this is official. And that is as flat as a pancake. Revealed. You see how they do this? They put it right smack dab in front of your face while they ridicule those who point it out. You see what I mean? It's a giant psyop. It's just another part of their ritual, their Hollywood sorcery aspect of it. But that, folks, is as flat as it gets. And it's 220 miles above the Earth from astronaut Alexander Gerst. Captured these stunning photos from the space station, flat as a pancake. Do you think they're trying to pull a psyop here, people? I do, because this is what they usually give you. For years and years and years, this is what we get. Okay? So, Mr. Gerst here the astronaut, he must have acquired himself one of those camera lenses that takes the curve out. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, the real thing they tell us is this. So this guy has a camera lens that takes the curve out. Think about this. Right in your face they're putting this. This, this is important. You know, a lot of people, they don't care. They think it's silly. Who cares if the earth is flat or round? It matters, people. It changes everything. Do you know how many people have come to Christ because of this realization? I mean, I know atheists, literally, that will swear it's flat. They know it's flat. They know there's a firmament. They know that we can't go to Mars or the moon. And they're still atheists, but... When they start seeing the darkness emerging around them, they come to realize, you know, this world is not anything like you've been taught. So I needed to share that because here they are making fun of the flat earthers again when they, at the same time, they put out an article from the space station telling us that this is the sunrise from 220 miles up. Think about that. I'm just telling you. That's insane. So I had to share it. Now, another thing that I saw was this kind of a crazy pattern. Now, these articles I'm going to show you real quick are all from the last two days. 
just in the in, in the course of two days I see this pattern okay we had a a bus or whatever full of immigrants crash in uh, Turkey killing 22 okay the 11 is what I'm seeing 22 is 11 times 2 a day earlier 11 people were killed in another bus accident in Greece okay so you have 11 and you have 22 11 11 11 then this federal judge okay he's convicted uh, of 11 of 22 charges okay 11 22 it's a 33 there's all kinds of stuff going on here all right and again these are all in the last two days we had remains of decomposed babies people wrap your mind around this found in a ceiling of a funeral home that is insane that should make people just really start looking around themselves and asking some questions okay then we had floods in indonesia these people are getting wrecked over here 22 dead but of the 22 dead 11 were children it's crazy okay so the this pattern Again, this is just the last two days, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, in the form of a 22. 11 killed. And there's more. These are just the front top headlines uh, in my headline website. The reason I'm showing you this one is because it struck me in my spirit. It's very strange, okay? In Afghanistan, we know that these kind of attacks happen all the time. But this particular one, I'm telling you, just really rubbed my spirit a certain way. There was 13 killed. I remember the 13 from Hurricane Michael, right? 13 Michael, the 13th hurricane moving at 13 miles an hour. Uh, you remember that? Michael M, the 13th letter, all these things, 13, that pattern. Well, there were 13 killed at this election rally. And, you know, I look at a lot of news. And very, very rarely do they call these a, a rally over there. And the reason that caught my attention is because there's another article floating around about Trump and mapping Trump's MAGA rallies. Okay, mostly red states. I'm just telling you, this just struck me in a way that I don't understand what exactly it is, as usual, a lot of this stuff. I never know exactly what it means, but I know it's real because my spirit agrees. It, it, it really does. It witnesses that when I see these things, that they're real, okay? So we have all this stuff going on, the 11 pattern, I mean, left, right, and sideways, everywhere. And then we have the ridiculing of the flat earth as they are showing you the flat earth. The astronauts themselves are showing you the flat earth alexander gerst folks that's flat so are you going to believe your eyes now when it comes directly from nasa from the space station or not it's up to you but it makes a difference so then i see this okay i'll wrap it up with this this guy right uh what's his name it's got a weird name. Paglin. Pagan. <laughs> uh, Trevor Paglin, as in Pagan. They're actually allowing this person to put this giant sculpture up in space that you'll be able to see with your naked eye floating around up in space for three months. And it's going up in November. It's going up that soon via SpaceX is going to shoot this thing up in space. I'm not kidding you. I'll link this stuff. It cost $1.3 million, ironically. Hmm. 13, 13, 13. Interesting. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Just saying, you guys. And now this guy's going to put this thing up in space, okay? So space is a big deal to them. That They must keep this illusion going. 
So they're throwing up this giant psyop right here just to see how many people are actually going to open their mouth and, and point out that they are liars. NASA lies. That's what they do. The world lies. You want truth, you're only going to find it in this book through Jesus Christ. You need Jesus if you want any, any chance whatsoever of escaping the darkness that's coming upon this earth. And that's just a fact. So I hope you seek him diligently today and always. And I had to share that with you guys. You have a wonderful week. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,